Um, good afternoon, my name is Minister Derek L. Wilson and um, I just would love to share with you a very short revelation that the Lord gave me and it's um, grace and mercy. Um, so two years back, January 31st, 2018, um, what happened was that, you know, I have been yearning to see something from the Lord, a vision, any revelation, because, you know, I had been really in touch with the book of Acts. And you read the book of Acts and what the apostles were walking in, it seemed as if it was so natural for them to walk in the realms of the uh, supernatural. But in our times and in our days, you know, we are very much uh, satisfied with, with the natural. So um, I... I started praying, God, let me see something. Let me see an angel. Let me, let me see something. Because I know deep within, I know within my spirit that you are. And you are what your word says you are. Amen. So, um, January 31st, 2018, uh, I had then uh, finished praying around 5.30 a.m. And um, I, as usual, what I wanted to do, I would sit you know, um, in a couch and then try and meditate on some um, verses and then see what the Lord will show me. I did this for so many days, so many weeks, nothing happened. But on January 31st, around 5.30 a.m., as usual, after praying, doing my quiet time, I sat in this couch and um, I began to meditate on Psalm 34, verse 1. You know, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In fact, uh, as usual, nothing was happening. So, but this morning felt different. Okay, I, I didn't feel the urge to even give up. So I then moved to Psalm 91 and started from the verse 1. You know, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I didn't even get to um, the shadow of the Almighty. Then suddenly, I had closed my eyes. Suddenly, it seemed as if, you know, the curtain, the veil was open. You know, so strange. And then I saw myself uh, standing somewhere and just gazing at a very high um, ladder. You know, it was so high. I was so amazed. I was like, ah, what is this ladder for? So as I was looking at the ladder and just checking the height, you know, it went up into the clouds. So I just was looking up, what is this? And then as I looked up into the clouds, there was an angel within the clouds. And then he was looking down at me with a smile, an infectious smile. And he beckoned to me to come up. Okay, so what I did was I just took one step, two steps, and the third step, whoosh, I was just taking up into the clouds okay and then immediately i got up there to the other side the clouds you know this angel was standing there the one who told me to come up and then he just pointed to his right side and still with a smile you know anytime i'm sharing this i get to feel some goosebumps all around me and then he beckoned to me to move to the right side so immediately i turned to my right side and there was this other angel who was uh, seated behind a desk, a very long desk, okay? It's like this, you know, when you're going to vote, you know, there's this book like the voters and register, and then you, there's the person behind it who checks something in it. At that point, I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't have any clue, any idea what was going on. It was my first time, okay? So, um, I went to this other angel, he was also smiling. But then uh, he began to check the book. It was a big book, like a register, you know. He was checking. Actually, I didn't even know what was going on until he said that your name is in the book. And then he, 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 he was smiling. So when he said my name is in the book, then I suddenly had an awareness that there was this huge gate that was opening from side to side. Okay, it was opening with, a, with some kind of noise, was opening. Then I realized that he had just checked my name in the book of life. Very strange. 
you know, and the, how the thing is, because he said my name is in the book, and then the gate began to open. So imagine if he said my name was not in, the gate wouldn't have opened. So just to cut a long story short, I turned and then saw, you know, and as the gate was opening in two halves, there was a great light coming from what it was enclosing. It was just coming out. You know, when you put on light and then the other side is darkness and you open the door, you know, the light from the other uh, room begins to shine into where the darkness is. Yes, the same thing. Okay, so this light was just coming out. So I just, what happened was that I just moved towards the other angel, the first one who called me to come up. He had then positioned himself beside the, you know, great gate. And he told me to, to come. He was smiling, smiling. And then, you know, I wanted to see what was in there. So immediately I got to where the gate was and could see, oh my God, my God, what I saw. It's, it's beyond how I would even describe it. It's even below what I saw. But I have to attempt, you know. And there was this line, you know, a very perfect line, okay, like a streak, but it was in a straight line. And then it was all gold, shiny, shiny, gold. In fact, when you say gold, gold, do you understand? He beckoned for me to, to come in. So as I entered, immediately I entered, it was as if my senses had come alive. I mean, million times million times okay i could sense everything on a higher level my i, I was uh, hearing so so well i was seeing so well and the kind of sights that you get is like this you know um very uh, sophisticated tvs where you see the color you really really see the color like this samsung you know latest tvs this time it is not it is not a TV. You are seeing it. I mean, that's what the vision that you are getting. I mean, that is it. That you are seeing colors in detail, colors in detail, and there's so much joy. You are alive. You are alive. There's nothing on the face of the earth that could make you come so alive like what I was experiencing. I was experiencing heaven itself. And let me tell you something, it was as if there was some light, great light coming from the center of, you know, that place. But that light was kind of uh, strange because it wasn't burning you like a sun, but it was giving off great light. And it was like it was coming from under you, entering you, coming out of you. Very wonderful. And, um, you know, it's like... You just think of any question. As you think of the question, you are getting the answers. As you think of it, you are it's just dropping in you. You are so much alive, so much with joy. And then I, I just turned and I saw on each side of and the streets, I saw uh, houses. And then uh, besides one house, I saw some children playing. So I was just happy, I think, and I was watching them and then all of a sudden, there was a disruption. All of a sudden, it was like my wife woke up. And when she was closing the door, bang, 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 and all that, then she got to where I was seated, then it was like I just became aware of myself, okay, where I was sitting. And then that is why the Bible says, you know, um, it's good to meditate, but we should get, a, you know, a, um, very silent place quiet place to meditate and meditate on god so that you know when he's showing us things you know there'll be no disruption so um i told my wife everything what had happened with so much joy but when i was feeling i was i was sad that i came back into my body you know because there's nothing on this earth to live for you understand? I've just experienced heaven. Why did God bring me back? You get it? For about five days, almost a week, I was feeling sad because I was, I was, I was um, sensing this joy in me and why I didn't stay in heaven and why I had to come back. 
but I, I think that I was then getting a bit as, as, as selfish, you know, because, you know, I have kids with my wife. Why should I <laughs> leave her alone, you know? But that is what I experienced. There is nothing here. There is no hotel. There is no restaurant. There is no gadget. There is there's nothing that should steal, you know, our joy in the Lord. For, you know, what God has prepared for us, your mind, my mind, for me, I've seen something, but I believe I just saw a small section, okay? Just a small section, and I didn't want to come back. Imagine I had seen the entirety of uh, heaven, okay? So much in store for us. So much in store for us. All I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, my father, my uncle, is for us to hold on to Christ. May nothing take us out of Christ. May nothing take us out of his kingdom. Hallelujah. When we say we are his, may we walk in obedience to his word. There is nothing that brings so much joy than the word of the Lord. Whatever it says, it does. In fact, that is what it does. The word of God is the light of God. The word of God is what carries us. Hallelujah. Nothing. Let no word from the pit of hell shake your faith. Hallelujah. God is with us and he has prepared a glorious place for us. And as real as heaven is, so is hell. Because once God has said that there is heaven and hell, how heaven is, I believe that is the direct opposite of what hell is. Let's stay true to God. And let's stay close to where his grace is. God bless you. I love you. Thank you.